December 12th, 12, 12, 12, 12 today. And what temperature do we have? Oh, we have, looks like 28 degrees. That was pretty good. I was able to sleep in a little bit till just a little bit after sunrise. So we'll get on the motorcycle, fire it up, get the odometer reading, and we're off. Odometer reading 39845.9. 39845.9 Well, 28 degrees is not feeling too bad at all. I have my balaclava pulled down just a little bit to let some air in to see if that helps with the fogging, which it seems to. It's, it's a little cool, but it's not really bad either, and it seems to keep the visor from fogging up so bad. So it's not hard to deal with. And there's not much wind either, no trees moving or anything. Well, I've heard a lot of people say they can't come up with subjects for their polar bear ride, so I've been seeing a lot of music videos, so I'm going to try to... Not that there's anything wrong with music videos, but I'm going to try to discourage that and get people to talk a little bit more. So this is the subject I'm going to bring up, and I want people to not just reply in the comments only. But if you're looking for a subject, talk about this in your ride. And that is promoting a service or a business as far as a moto vlogger. And I really have no problem with that. I bring this up because I've seen this in the past, but a friend of mine posted on Facebook that he was kind of reluctant to post a video because it was just promoting a business that he really liked and he had a good experience with. And uh, not only do I not discourage that, I encourage that very much because nowadays finding businesses that treat their customers right or finding a service that gives you a good value for your money is getting more and more difficult to do so I would encourage moto vloggers more and more if you've got some kind of good deal going on share it with the rest of us so that we can get in on that too there's just too many people especially nowadays in this economy you can't afford to be ripped off that can really hurt bad especially on an expensive purchase so I want to know who I'm dealing with the only really problem I have in the community is when somebody jumps in, they have no past with the community whatsoever, and that's the only posts you ever see from them, whether it be Facebook or YouTube, is their only posts are they're selling a product or a service, and it seems like they want to have nothing else to do with the community other than just promoting whatever it is they're into. They don't come and comment on any of your videos, they don't watch your videos, and as a matter of fact, some of them go to the extent to where they won't even answer comments on their video so they'll make a basically I just call it a glorified ad is what they're doing they're not part of the community or anything they're just or spammers you could even call them they're glorified spammers and they want to act like they're a part of the community but if you don't take the time to become part of the community I've told people many times I've even had friends too that have all of a sudden started a service or started producing a product and I'm like the secret is to do everything you can to not sell it. Don't even make that part of what your videos are. Start making videos about what you do, why you enjoy doing it, but don't talk about selling anything. And as a matter of fact, one of the experts at that, and he didn't even do it intentionally, that's my buddy Jake that made the seat for my bike. He's just been involved in the community for years and years. He participates, he uh, communicates back and forth, and then he got interested in restoring old sewing machines, and he joined groups that were in, interested in sewing and interested in antiques and shared his experiences with buying old machines from different countries and restoring them and making them work again. And then what he did after that was just started a hobby of actually using the machines and it just grew and grew but he's always been a participating member of the community. He doesn't ignore comments. He comes and comments on other people's stuff at least within the circle of people that he hangs with, I mean. Plus you have, to, you have to also, if you're producing a product, you have to produce a quality product. So before I even had him do the motorcycle seat for me, I would looked at the things he had done in his different videos and his pictures he posted and I saw he was doing some work for people that own very expensive sports cars. And uh, 
these are not people that will put up with just so-so mediocre quality. I mean, if you've got a very expensive car and you're having somebody reupholster it, you better be able to do a very good job. So yeah, within the community, if you're not a spammer and you're actually somebody that's a participating member in the community in the back and forth and not just out to sell, 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 and I don't care about what anybody else's video is about, I don't care what anybody else is doing, but just buy my stuff, buy my stuff, I really don't want anything to do with you. That's not what I'm here. If I want to see ads, I'll go back to watching TV on a regular basis if I want to watch commercials. But if you're part of the community, yeah. I just promote businesses and services, promote what you're doing. But don't do it like you're doing it like a spammer or an ad. Share with, share, share with people what you're doing. Share with people what you're making, why you're making it. I don't think that'd be any problem at all. I don't think anybody would have any problem with that. Ending mileage, 39852 point, uh, can I see, 7, 39852.7.